Mark, also thanks for being here all day. Uh, we'll turn this over to you. Concept to Keys Development Pipeline. It was housing nerd Christmas today. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so planning and housing committee, our housingnowto.com civic tech volunteers are happy to see the affordable housing strategy for Villiers Island will now include a target of up to 30% affordable rental homes on public lands secured as long term or per permanently affordable housing. However, as we have seen on the city's Housing Now sites, these affordable housing targets are hard to turn into actual projects under construction if the outcomes of the city planning development review process are untethered from the economic realities of 2023 construction costs, interest rates, and available supports from the federal and provincial governments. Today, the old 2017 Villiers precinct plan is not fit for purpose. If the city's focus and priority during your 2023 review is to achieve that target of 30% affordable rental homes on public land within the next decade. We agree with the staff report that the height and massing on Villiers will need to increase density on the lands within public ownership by at least 30% above the 2017 precinct plan. The difference, as you can see on this image, um, between the proposed use of public lands and the proposed use of private lands, which in this case is a 309 Cherry Street, are clear in the image from future model TO based on current submissions and plans. In 2023, the added density on Villiers Island will likely need to be multiples of the 2017 Prinsic Plan rather than the suggested 30% increase. The city is likely to be looking at an approximate 150% increase in the density over 2017. The 2017 precinct plan envisioned 4,865 uh, 4, units of new housing on Villiers Island. Based on our volunteer work, we estimate that your 2023 review will need to look at a target of at least 12,000 units of new housing on Villiers Island in order to achieve the goal of 30% affordable rental homes, which would be 4,000 affordable units on these precious and well-located public lands. The City of Toronto has already learned the challenges of leveraging public lands for new affordable rental housing via the Housing Now program. Multiple sites that were rezoned by city staff and approved by council back in 2019 are now classified as on hold in the concept to keys report you saw today. In many cases, those housing now sites that are on hold will need additional height and density and additional federal funding before they are able to break ground as new construction. We encourage council and staff to learn from that housing now experience and look at Villiers Island with fresh eyes and a clear focus on the real world economic challenges of new residential housing development in Toronto in 2023 when revising this precinct plan. As CreateTO has recently done with the review of the Danforth Garage Master Plan from 2018 for the Housing Now program, we would encourage the city to engage with the Urban Land Institute's Technical Assistance Panel Program, the TAP, in order to stress test and sanity check any assumptions that are being made in the 2023 Villiers Island Precinct Plan, to check them against current industry best practices and construction economics. As always, our open data and civic tech volunteers are happy to answer any questions the committee or city staff may have on affordable housing development best practices and how to make the most effective use of transit oriented lands to help alleviate Toronto's rental housing crisis. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Uh, any questions for the deputant?